Right now, typically the time of year when students go to the doctor for their annual physicals and vaccines, but COVID-19 has made that difficult for families. Doctors say whether your student is back in the classroom or studying at home, it's important to keep those annual appointments. Tonight, I talked with Dr. Eric Barth from Alina Health about why. Okay, Dr. Barth, we'll start with the first question. Have, have families actually been scheduling these routine physicals for their kids? Yes, that's right. Uh, back when we had the stay at home order, we were postponing everything uh, that was not considered essential, uh, and that included well checks. But for most of the summer now, we have been scheduling those well child checks and the immunizations because we do consider them so important. And has this been something that has been also happening maybe across the world, not just something that families in the in the U.S. have had to focus on, but kind of remembering that there might be some setbacks actually with some of uh, these vaccinations? Absolutely, yes. It's been something that's been reported globally is that uh, many children have fallen behind during this pandemic uh, in terms of their routine immunizations. And so we have been playing a little bit of catch up. Absolutely. Are there specific vaccines that kids should be getting? I mean, is it the same ones that parents have maybe heard about all these years? Uh, but just with a pandemic now, I'm sure it makes parents think a little bit more about what they should be getting. Exactly. Yes, it's the, the same standard immunizations. Of course, there's a lot of them in the, the age group for kids under two, uh, and then also the kindergarten immunizations, and then there's some immunizations uh, prior to uh, beginning middle school. So those immunizations are all uh, the same as they have been. It's just a matter of catch, catching up and making sure that we're keeping up with those immunizations, especially for those younger children, where if they were sort of um, sequestered at home for several months, they might miss a one or even two visits that would have included immunizations. If you could just rattle off for us, kind of maybe remind our parents out there, what are some of those different types of viruses or diseases that they need to make sure when they're at their doctor's appointment, they're asking, you know, is my son or daughter getting the hepatitis A or is it B this time? Can you just kind of refresh our memory a bit on, on which ones they should be you know, asking about? Well, the big ones that we worry about, especially when children start to get behind on immunizations are the measles, which is part of the MMR or measles, mumps, rubella vaccination, and chickenpox, because those vaccines, if it falls below a certain threshold in terms of uh, the uh, children being uh, fully immunized, that's when you can start to see outbreaks, as we did back in 2017. We saw a measles outbreak that was uh, quite significant. So those would be the big ones. And then also going into middle school, it's a tetanus booster the meningitis vaccine, the meningococcal vaccine, which protects against that form of meningitis, and then the HPV vaccine, which is the only vaccine that we have that is really designed and intended to prevent cancer. And so we're strongly encouraging that vaccine uh, as the kids enter middle school years. Here we are, the calendar is turned to September, and I'm already seeing advertisements for flu shots. Uh, in the midst of a pandemic, when we're thinking about getting tested for a virus, we're also getting reminded whether you're, you know, a child or you're a senior to be getting your flu shot. Should we be getting one now? Is there a specific time when uh, someone should be getting that shot? It can definitely start now. At Alina, we'll begin scheduling the routine, uh, the flu vaccine clinics where we'll have a nurse uh, that's uh, whose job it is to basically give flu shots all day and we'll have those scheduled starting this next week and so you can really get them any time now our recommendation for most folks is to try and get them done by the end of october so it's not like everybody has to rush in the door right now but certainly this month and next month it's it's very important to get that influenza vaccine and it's more important this year than in previous years because of the pandemic. Right now, over the course of the summer, if I had a patient come in who had fever or flu-like symptoms, I'm going to be suspicious about the coronavirus, COVID-19. But when it comes to flu season, uh, there'll be a lot of confusion. The, that same patient that comes in at that time with symptoms of influenza then we're going to not be sure about are we dealing with influenza or are we dealing with the COVID-19. And so the more patients that we can have who are immunized against influenza and hopefully don't get it or have such a mild case that they don't even need to come into the clinic, the better.
With the delays that you know families have had with maybe scheduling those appointments, is it too late to get those vaccines for their children? Absolutely not. It's never too late. We never reach a point where we say, oh, it's been so long that we have to start the series over. It's always a matter of just picking up where we left off and finishing with those vaccinations. For more advice from doctors on back to school season, just go to WCCO.com.